So in the morning, Jess doesn't really like eating a big breakfast. So I'm making her an egg white pancake and she gets one egg with her diet right now. So she'll get that. And then me, I have, I get about three eggs plus a bunch of egg whites and oats. And so I've got a bigger amount of oats. And again, what we're doing is I'm taking the egg whites with the oats, I'm letting them soak for just a few minutes so that kind of softens the oats up a little bit. And then uh, I'm gonna make them into a pancake. So if you guys are potentially on a diet or trying to watch your, your food intake and you want something that's kind of, um, kind of tasty, kind of pancake-like, or maybe you've got to eat a bunch of oats that you don't want to necessarily eat, egg white pancakes can be an option for you. So the oats have been soaking for a few minutes, right? So they've been soaking in the egg, and with Jess's, I do her hers first. She's got one egg in there and then egg whites because again she's not really a big breakfast person I know a lot of people aren't they don't like eating breakfast so this is kind of like it's a nice little thing that she can just eat right there and it's um it's, it's a little bit easier to digest than like a bowl of oatmeal plus uh, eating the eggs so now we'll put this sucker on the skillet and I'll show you guys what it looks like Jess's pancake, and then she gets um, a bunch of strawberries, so we get some fresh strawberries. As far as like what we'll put on it, we'll either use, I don't like to use a bunch of like fake stuff, but a little bit from time to time, um, this paint, this like a uh, free pancake syrup is okay. Um, and then also this like cinnamon stuff, I, I tried this out, this is pretty good. Put my blueberries in there and like kind of in the middle like a little sandwich so these are just frozen blueberries and i just take them and warm them up for a minute so i'm going to show the guy holding the camera the the house or the, the property because he uh when you come up to our house we're in like a normal neighborhood but basically the way that it works is the there's a guy his family owned uh, the property, like basically all this property where they developed this little subdivision and they still have like a big farm back there. It's like a, it's like 90 acres or something. And they sold a little chunk to the people um, that lived here before us. We got some really wicked windstorms this year. And so you can see back there, like one of our, um, we've got some uh, American elms, which they're pretty big for being American elms because they got torn down or got uh, infected with uh, Dutch elm disease. We have a couple of those. That one just went down. Um, probably gonna have to get a couple branches trimmed off this one too. That is uh, it's the backyard. All right, guys. So I'm here at the gym. We get some morning training in, and um, I recently hired a coach who put together a stretching program for me. So I'm trying to, you know, get someone who knows a lot more about that stuff than me to give me sort of guidance. And so I'm gonna go do the stretches and then do my training afterwards for jiu-jitsu and so you guys can follow along and depending on how the weather holds up it's it may or may not rain if it stays like it is now we'll go back to the gym or go back to my house and do an ice bath um, if it starts raining and thunderstorming then we'll probably have to let that one go for the day so i'll do specific body parts when i'm actually lifting so if i'm going to do say for and since I'm going to do squats, I'll do my ankles and my uh, my hips and stuff like that. If I'm getting ready to do some shoulder presses, I'll do some my shoulder, or, uh, I'll do my shoulders, my thoracic spine, stuff like that. Um, today I'm kind of mixing a few things up. He's got me stretching a lot of stuff around my uh, ankles because I got really tight ankles, and so starting off with these calf stretches and then moving into uh, some different stuff to loosen up some space around the knees. Uh, for some of you guys, if you have some tight knees or ankles, this could be useful to you. Hey, what are you looking at, bro? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just getting old. You know where I'm from, bro? You just getting old, bro. 
That's all yeah. it is. It's just accepted. <laughs> I, know. I know. How old are you, Will? 26. Oh, yeah. So you're yeah. on the downfall, too. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been feeling downfall. Well. You guys are 26. They talk to me like 10 years. Like, I remember when I was 25, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm so old. And then I got like 30 pounds. Like, oh, yeah. Come on, keep oh, Old man Carl. Yeah. Carl. Carl, you got some like uh, Valley Studio shorts on. I like them. Well, cute. I spent 10 years with your short shorts and my 80s shorts like out in my head. I was like, I could do that. I'm going to get the uh, two It's like they're, they're back. Yeah, they're back. See the position. We got both your seat pulled away. I scoot in. Your goal is if you're going to shoot in and track this leg, I like to get this hand over here on this side. This hand kind of right around here to the side. I pull myself under. I typically keep this hand up just a little bit, just in case if you try to drop the mouth, I can use the block. So if you ever see me with a, with my phone in my hand, either at a seminar or a class, I'm not texting. I, uh, I have notes, so I have to look at my notes to make sure I'm following the game plan that I set for myself. Get into this position. It's not working. I'm going to keep this foot right in the middle. This leg goes in the, the, the underneath of it. The reason why we'd like to keep this foot in the middle is it allows me to pull him in just a little bit more, opposed to its own thigh. I can't really pull him in because I want to have the hips here. Okay. What's going on? That's not okay. Hip. Get the person up so this way this leg's light. Notice I pulled the hand out to the mat. Now I reach, grab the leg, kick this leg through, and now we're in a position here where we can trap both legs and take them over. You hurry, Will? Bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'm with you. No. This is a move like for five years that I never get to like master. Well, you're not going to master today, but you'll be able to do it today. It's That's easy. easy. So your same entry, once you get there, you have that far leg, passing, get a catch. Okay, from here, you can bring that knee up a little bit, reach in, catch, here. And again, when you get this, it's not just hanging out, I'm pinching this in really tight and pinching it into my body. So as it's move, as it like, as I start to move my body, it moves. And again, if I wanted to finish, I'm gonna be easy on it. It's not a rip to the side, we come down and we extend our hips forward. <laughs> come on, guys. What you guys said that? No, we ain't doing that way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, buddy. <clears throat> this is one championship play. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what now? <laughs> now I tap. <laughs> I tap the strikes. You standing? And I'm going to be dead. Begin with the ground. Kevin's only submissions are leg locks. Okay, from there it'll be a full roll. I don't get to use my hands much.
I took resentment to it. All of a sudden, I find out. I got a lot of resentment here, Tim. I'm about to, I'm about to get it ripped. He's about to get mad and black out. I just see red. I just see red. So after training, I like to do some stuff to loosen up my chest, uh, my, my T-spine. So right now I'm doing a pec stretch, help loosen up everything, because like we do so much squeezing. A lot of times I feel like after like a hard training session, if I'm squeezing, uh, this really wasn't hard today, but after a lot of training sessions, I almost feel tight around my chest and I feel like it impedes my breathing a little bit, so I like to loosen things up. So I'm doing two holds of one minute. By the way, if you guys see that red mat back there, I'm sure some of you guys are going to be newer to the channel, so you'll probably have questions about, hey, hey, why did we have a red mat? Did you guys run out of blue and gray mats? So that was when we got these blue mats back in uh, 2019, um, and we, we installed them 2000, I think 2019, yeah. I wanted to like have a little piece of the mats that we used to have. So we used to have a big red mat space. If you go back and watch some of the old videos, you'll see just pure red mats. And so I trained on those mats since 2007 to 2019. I wanted to have a piece to remember those. So I can remember all those days where I was on the red mats as a young man training. So I had that little corner there to remind me of the, the red mats from back in the day. All right, guys, so we just got done training. I did a little bit of stretching, and now we're going to head back to my house. Um, originally, I was like, the weather was supposed to be super nice today, so I was like, hey, let's do a nice bath at the house. Um, as usual, as happens in the Ohio Valley in the middle of the uh, spring, the weather day-to-day -day changes. So it's drizzly now, and so uh, I've got one of the persons going to come with me, but I'm going to get in the ice bath. I like to do it about three times a week, and I'll take you guys to the house and show you what that looks like. So the worst part about this one is this tank's moving all the time. This is a uh, polar monkey, in case you're curious. And the water is moving the entire time. And it's cold as shit out here. Well, it's not really cold today. It's like 60 something. So it made the rain feel warm. Now it's time for my uh, my post training uh, meal. I'll show you guys that, and then uh, we will uh, we will part ways for today. All right, guys. So. Training is done, ice bath is done, and uh, now I'm getting ready to do some like off 
office work, computer work, things like that. I'm gonna show you guys my, uh, my post training meals. So I have, I've got about, uh, I've got two scoops of protein in there and I've got about 100 grams of oats. And um, currently I'm in like a, I'm trying to gain a little bit of weight. I'm not gonna get massive or anything, but uh, I am trying to bulk a little bit because like rolling with some of the big guys in the gym, like if I'm down in like, when I got back from like doing Nogi, World, Nogi Worlds, when I won gold medal there, my weight was just not moving upwards. It was, it was crazy, like I had cut down, got really lean, and then when I started adding the food back in, like my coach, we kept adding more and more food, and uh, it was wild, it's like my, my weight wasn't budging, and we're finally getting there now. So I'm getting, a, I get a pretty good amount of food right now. So I'm uh, making, making a smoothie. And I like, when I'm doing my office work, I don't want to eat a big meal. So I like having my smoothie, and Eugene always makes fun of me. If you guys listen to the podcast, I love having a, uh, a smoothie with my coffee. So I'll have my, my smoothie to drink, and I'll have my cup of coffee, black coffee. And again, it's a little bit later than what I usually like to drink the cup of coffee. It's about 1.30 right now. Um, because again, doing the video with you guys, it just kind of takes a little bit more time to do everything. But it's okay. I'm happy doing that with you guys to hang out, that sort of thing. And um, as long as it's not, as long as it's before two, I'm fine. And then if you guys never do this, you ever get your bananas and they start to get ripe and you need to get rid of them, just put them in a Ziploc bag. Just take them like unpeel them or whatever and then put them in a Ziploc bag in chunks. Get frozen bananas, use them for smoothies. Or we'll put them in like, sometimes I'll like mash them up and make an like, ice cream out of it. And again, if you guys have followed along with any of the videos in the last couple of years, then you know that like I weigh all of my food, it's all measured, everything else like that. And uh, again, I know not everybody likes to do that, but I do. It just helps me stay on track. And uh, you get pretty good at eyeballing stuff too. She was the only one brave enough. The rest of them were like, I don't know. You know, it's always a little, little cold, uh, rainy, so I don't think everybody was feeling it. Last little ingredient, salt. I know everybody says sodium's bad for you, but after training and stuff, some salt's helpful. And uh, that's it, I'll put a couple ice cubes in here. start drinking my smoothie, having my cup of coffee, and I'm gonna get ready to do my, my work that I have to do for the, the business stuff. This is like the work that nobody sees is getting ready to happen. Um, you know, so like everybody thinks I just train all day long. It's like, I, I wish I could. This is actually where I have to do the important work that keeps the businesses going. Um, but again, thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, the vlog. We'll do some more of these from time to time, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.